All right, hello guys. Today we're gonna to be going over my August forecast. But before I get started with this video though, I would ask that you do subscribe if you do like weather-related content. I make all sorts of videos like this. And also I'm excited to announce that we did make an Instagram. And we also have a Facebook page and group set up that you guys can go ahead and join as well as a Discord server. Those are gonna be in the pinned comment and in the description below that you can check out. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Now we're getting right into things. And right now we are looking at your precipitation forecast for August and you can see on the top of your screen there's there's two different color bars there and you can see that there is above average and below average there as far as precipitation is concerned so in the below average we do have an area there from Kentucky Tennessee North Carolina Virginia West Virginia Ohio Pennsylvania and up into New England as well as some of the coast of the mid-Atlantic we're expecting below average precipitation or slightly below average precipitation because again if you look at the top bar you can see that there is three different shades there and we're only in the lightest here for the precipitation which means the confidence isn't too high in this it only takes one hurricane or tropical system to bring these areas up to above average precipitation that's something to remember this time of year uh, a tropical system can really really shake things up and we can't really predict that that's going to happen or not happen so that's something that's always possible especially for the gulf states and the southeast coast now, you can see there's also an area of above average precipitation there from Montana, parts of the Dakotas, Nebraska, Wyoming, Colorado, Utah. We're all involved in those above average precipitation anomalies. And we've been seeing this over the past month, a lot of storm systems for this area. And I look for it to continue in these areas, portions of the Rockies, again, as well as the Dakotas and Nebraska. I'm expecting slightly above average precipitation as we're going to see low pressure systems develop in this area and also bring some severe weather to some of the southern regions of this little area. And I'm going to talk more about that in the overall forecast. And we're going to get to that at the end of the video. But again, above average precipitation for this area. And then for the northeast coast of the United States, we're expecting below average precipitation. Now we're going to go ahead and get into our temperature forecast and you can see not a lot going on in the east. I'm expecting average or near average conditions for the east coast. Actually, I'm expecting above average conditions for the beginning half, except for the first five days or so. And it's possible that we do see some below average temperatures there for quite a while in the beginning. But I think overall it's going to come out average as at the end we will see. I think that we're going to end up seeing some above average temperatures there for maybe the third week of August. But really, again, it's going to end up averaging out according to my forecast here. Now, you can see for the coast, the west coast of the United States, as well as into Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, we're expecting above average temperatures. So from Washington down through Oregon, California, New, or Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas, slightly above average temperatures are expected for this region. Also, from Montana down through, again, the Rockies, Wyoming, Idaho, portions of Nevada, Utah, northern Arizona, northern New Mexico, as well as Colorado, and then into Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, the Dakotas, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri. We're all expecting slightly below average temperatures, and a little bit, you can see a little bit of that area there has a second shade of blue, and that's for Wyoming, the Dakotas, Nebraska, Montana. We're expecting a, pr a pretty good shot at below average temperatures for that region or an increased chance at below average temperatures. Now we're going to go ahead and get into your overall forecast here. Now you can see again for the West Coast starting out things warmer than normal down through Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas. We're expecting warmer than normal conditions and this will be noticeable. Now for the areas just to your east in that pink region, you can see a warm end to August is expected. I think that things are going to start to warm up in this area as we reach the later half of the month and it will be quite noticeable but I think in the beginning we could have average to below average conditions for this region. Now there's a blue region to the east of you and that's going to be colder than normal conditions from Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, Wyoming, Montana into the Dakotas, into Nebraska, Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, and Minnesota. And also a portion of the severe weather region, the, the northern half of that is also in the colder than normal conditions. I think it's just more noticeable that we will be seeing some severe weather for this region. Uh, but speaking about that region, we're expecting severe weather from Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, Colorado, Nebraska, Kansas, and as well as Wyoming. This isn't too unusual for this time of year, uh, especially for the Colorado regions. We've been seeing this for quite a while 
uh, and I, I expect it to con continue again with the low-pressure systems developing in this area, as well as the, the difference in temperatures, especially on the southern half of that region there. I think it's going to create some instability over the course of the entire month, and that's going to be our best shot at severe weather. Even though portions of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Iowa, and Illinois, and Michigan have been seeing a lot of severe weather recently too, and I don't expect that to stop anytime soon. Now, just to your east, we have a yellow region there, and that's the flip-flop area. Usually there is one of these, it seems like, in every one of my uh, seasonal forecasts and temperature forecasts as of recently. And that's because this area is kind of caught in between everything. And I think it's going to feel a little bit of everything at some point. It's going to feel dry sometimes, it's going to feel cold sometimes, going to get some severe weather sometimes, and possibly even some tropical activity if storms head inland. So it's going to be all over the place, different, different types of temperatures, different types of precipitation at certain points. Now, just to your south, again, we do have that tropical activity area, and that's where it's kind of a question mark because, again, we can never really tell if there will be any landfalling hurricanes or there will not be. But really, the chance is there, and I wanted to note that, obviously, as it's August, there is a chance for, for tropical activity within this region. So Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, southeastern Virginia, we're expecting the chance for tropical activity, as always, in August. Now, to the very north there from Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Iowa, or Illinois, and that's going to head eastward into the rest of the Great Lakes states as well as Ohio, Pennsylvania, and then up into New England and upstate New York. We're expecting a cold end to August. I think at least the last five days of the month we're going to see a cool down. That's according to the European model, um, the, the seasonal European model. We're seeing a – they're – calling for a cool down there at the end and usually that model does really well in that time frame so I am expecting a cold end to August for that blue region right there. Now we're expecting more dry conditions from North Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia up northward up the coast so into DC, into Maryland, into northern Delaware, portions of Pennsylvania including Philadelphia including and then also New Jersey, New York, New York City, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, coastal regions of New Hampshire and Maine. We're all expecting more dry conditions than normal for this area. Anyway, guys, I really, really hope you enjoyed this video about my August forecast. I hope you subscribe for next month's forecast as well as forecast for things that are happening in current day's weather as I upload almost every day. I try to upload every day. Now, I did at the end of this video, I know only a, a certain percentage of you are still in this video. I did want to talk about the social media stuff that's going on because it's very, very exciting. Now, we have an Instagram and on that Instagram, we're going to be sometimes posting things about weather that are happening now that are exclusive and will not be shown in videos. So some smaller scale things as well as sharing all the videos, hopefully all the videos to that page, posting a picture of the thumbnail and then leaving a link to the YouTube video so that you can go ahead and check that out. If you don't get the notification on YouTube, you will get it or you'll obviously see the post on Instagram. So it's kind of like a, a better opportunity to see when I do upload. So that's going to be cool. If you do have an Instagram, you can go follow that again in the description and in the pinned comment as well as on my channel page, you'll be able to see that. Now we do have a Facebook page as well, which is going to be quite similar, quite the same stuff. So if you have Facebook instead of Instagram, I recommend the Facebook page. Uh, we're also going to be possibly posting exclusive videos to the Facebook page. So there is going to be some exclusive things you can access by following the Facebook page. So I expect that to do really well. Again, same story, description and pin comment. And on my channel, you can click that as well. We also have a Facebook group, which is old, but it doesn't have any members right now. Uh, somehow all the members got deleted. I don't know how that happened, but we're starting over. It's called Weather Freaks. And that's also going to be in the description, pin comment and on my channel. And that's going to be more of like a place where you can socialize with other people who are a fan of my of my YouTube channel, as well as I'm going to be in it personally, and I hope to be very active in it. So it's going to be a good way to interact with me and talk about the weather that's happening now, current storms, lots of cool stuff going to be going on in there, lots of cool discussion. I'm really looking forward to getting the Facebook group back and rolling. We also have a Twitter at Prime Patriots, and that's a little bit more of a personal thing, and that's probably the most uh, low... I don't know how to explain it, but it's it's gonna be kind of low key, and we're gonna I'm gonna be posting pictures of like things on radar, things that are very very in the moment and now cast type things that I think are cool, and also just sharing other people's stuff. So it's gonna be a cool opportunity to see stuff again. If you don't have a Twitter, you don't have to follow it. Obviously, you don't have to make a Twitter just to follow it. But if you do have a Twitter, go ahead and follow it. It's gonna be in the description and in the pin comment and in the channel page. 
And also we have a Discord server, if you do have a Discord, that's kind of like a forum. So that'll be a, kind of like the Facebook group where it's going to be a really good place to talk about the weather. And we already do have, I think, 50 members in there. So there is some active discussion going on. You can click that link in the same places as the rest of the links. Uh, I just wanted to mention, I'm not going to do this in every video. I know some people are going to get annoyed. They're like, why are you talking about all your social media? I'm not going to do this every video this in depth. I'm going to mention to follow the, or to, yeah, follow the social medias, but I'm not going to go this in depth at the end of every video. Just since this is the first time I'm announcing it, I wanted to go ahead and mention, uh, basically where you can follow those and everything about them. And I thought this was a good opportunity at the end of this video. Anyway, guys, I hope you really, really enjoyed this video. And I hope you do check out the social medias because I think it's going to be a really cool opportunity to interact with other people who like weather as well as me. Anyway, guys, I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you in the next video.